um, normally what we do is just get straight into it if Natalie's comfortable with doing that. Um, I'm also happy, Natalie, to talk with you afterwards about any emotions you might have had that was impeding some of the connection. Okay. So we can talk about that afterwards if you want. Okay. Yep. <coughs> There are some women here that would like to speak with you. Mm -hmm. I asked them um, who they were, and they said that they are part of the group that you originally referred to, and yep. they are frightened of the leaders of those group. That group. Yep. Mm -hmm. Would they sort of like to tell us, like, how long ago they passed over and everything? Would they give us a little bit of personal information about themselves? It's been four thousand years. Yep. A long time to be afraid. Yes. Yeah. We're not sure how we came to be stuck here. Oh. But we are. And we have been obedient to these other women for a long time. Yeah. When you say obedient, you've been carrying out these other women's desires? Yes. And what kind of things does that involve? We have murdered many. Yeah. Through influencing the actions of others, we are responsible for the death of many children. Yeah. <clears throat> and why, how are you responsible for the death of the children? Through the thoughts we have fed their mothers whilst in the womb. Right, yep. Through the anger we've projected at the fathers. Yep. And their response would be to be violent with the women. Yeah. We have also caused many mothers to kill their own children yeah. after they've been born. Yeah. Through smothering. Yeah. And what why was what was the reasoning there? What, what was the purpose of that? It was what we were told to do. Right. By these darker spirits who you were afraid of. And you don't know what their motivations were, really, you were just afraid? Yes. Yeah. We realise we have seen you speak because we move in the groups with these women. Yeah. And there is something in us that wants it to stop. Yeah. And we do not know how. And we are almost afraid to stop. Because yeah. we know what we've done is wrong. Well, yeah, there's, there's probably two things that are going on though for you, isn't there? You're, you're not only afraid to stop because you're afraid of what the consequences will be about what was done. But you were also afraid to stop because of how afraid you are of these darker women spirits who have been telling you what to do. Yes. Mm. We all have something in common which we have listened to when you speak. Mm -hmm. And those of us here right now have much hatred for their mothers. Yeah. And also much fear. Yeah. Mm. And we are starting to understand that is how we are controlled. Yeah, by your fear. Mm. But there's, there's two groups of fears, isn't there, that you're being controlled by. One is the fear of the 
darker women spirits and then the other fear is also of what's going to happen when you came to a full recognition of what's been done so there's those two fears yes yeah. and you're terrified of both of them too yes we are scared more of the consequence than we are of the women yeah. which is what continues us to do it yeah, yeah. Um, what do you believe the consequences will be? That we will suffer the same fate as that we, that we have caused people, that we will feel all of their pain. Yeah. What, what were your beliefs when you were on earth? And collectively, like, what kind of beliefs did you have? I don't understand. What beliefs did you have about the afterlife? Did you have any? No. 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 I thought when you died, that was all. Right. There was no God. Many of us believe there is no God. There was no heaven. There was no hell. Yeah. There was only what our life was, and that's all. Yeah. Does I have some tissues? Oh, oh, okay. Thank you. It's okay. Um, well, let's let's talk about <coughs> let's talk about two things, shall we? We'll talk firstly about the fear you have about the consequences of your actions, <coughs> and we'll talk then about the fear you have with the women spirits who have been telling you what to do. Um, but to talk about the first, we need to talk firstly a little about what happens in the spirit world once you pass into the spirit world. So at the moment, you're not really in the spirit world yet. Are you, do you understand that? We have never left Earth. Yeah. So you, you're what uh, people on Earth sometimes refer to as Earthbound. But uh, you're yet to go to the place in the spirit world that you've prepared for your own soul. And the way you prepare a place in the spirit world is by your actions that you take. And this is what you're afraid of, isn't it? You're afraid that because of the actions you've taken, then the place in the spirit world is not going to be a very nice place. Yes. And, and that's part of the problem here. So you'd almost prefer to be on Earth, where sometimes the feeling's a bit more pleasant than being in a place that is a full reflection of the things that you've done. Does that make sense? Yes. And uh, do you notice at the moment that the more you do things, that the more pain you're feeling? Do you notice that? It is only temporary. Yeah. We heard you speak of how it degrades us further. Mm -hmm. And we have started to notice. Yeah. And we want it to stop. Yeah. Because you, you don't want to end up as dark as the spirits who you're afraid of. No. Because at the end of the day, that, you know, that would be a terrible place to get to and also very difficult to get out of, unfortunately. So what we can do is just talk to you about a few things about how God acts. Because there is a God. Right? And God has made a whole lot of laws. And what we'd like to do is talk to you about the laws. One of the laws is called the law of repentance that I'd like to talk to you about. The law of repentance is a willingness to feel the damage of everything just excuse me <coughs> to feel the damage of everything that you've done inside of your heart and to pray to God that God's love can come and help you find out the reason why that damage was done. Why did you choose to do those things? Does that make sense? Yes. And if that so, what you can do is you can long for God's love to enter you and expose the reasons why that you chose to do what you've chosen to do, and also long for God's love to come into you as a place of forgiveness, like to forgive you for the things that you've done, and that's called repentance. And there needs to be a willingness to feel what you've done for you to be fully repentant. Does that make sense? So that is the fastest way that you can actually improve your situation if you choose to do that. 
the second way, but it's much slower, is to actually allow the law of compensation. There's a law in the spirit world that you've probably heard of by now, called the law of compensation. This is why we are afraid. Yeah. That actually requires you to undo everything that you've done wrong <coughs> and to feel the pain of everything that you've done wrong. It would take forever. That's what you would feel, yeah. And obviously with 4,000 years of doing things that are damaging, there's a lot of damaging things that can be done in that time. Yeah. Yes. So my suggestion is that we, we talk to you more about the repentance, okay, because you've already begun the process of repentance by being here now and talking to us. You've already begun that process. And if we can talk about the feelings of repentance, and that is having a preparedness to feel the damage that you've done in every single thing that's been done in your life for the last 4,000 years. I feel wretched. Yeah. And why would God love something so wretched? Well, God, hasn't, God doesn't love what you did, if that makes sense. But God loves you as an individual. And she wants you to actually come to terms with the things that you've done. God is a woman? Well, God has masculine and feminine qualities. So you can refer to God as a, uh, as a he or a she or a dad or a mum. And, and I, I point out some of the... I'm referring to God as a woman just to challenge some of your beliefs about God. It's right from the outset. Does that make sense? Yes. So you're allowed to, uh, you, and you need to, feel all of the things that have been done. Now that's going to be very difficult for you, as you know, because there's so many things that have been done and some of them you can't even remember, really. Yes. And, and eventually what God does is, through this process of forgiveness, is you'll eventually remember everything that's been done and you'll have emotions about everything that's been done. And the key is to allow yourself to feel those emotions and ask for God's love and forgiveness for those things. Does that make sense? The way you ask is not with your head or with your, with your mouth, but rather as a feeling. You, you want the feeling of God forgiving you. And when God forgives you, it feels like you'll, rem you'll remember the events but you will no longer have a feeling of, uh, you know, of grief about them anymore. Does that make sense? Once you're forgiven. Now, now there's some celestial spirits who would like to come and invite to be with you, who can actually begin you on this process. Does that make sense? What is celestial? Well, there are spirits who have learnt to do everything in harmony with God's love. And so they've learnt... They've had to go through some processes of clearing away some of these kinds of emotions that you have. And they've had to go through the process of refinement of their soul. And once they've done that, they've actually entered a place called that's at, that's at one with God. And, and that's at that place is a place where everything you do is completely in harmony with love. So these spirits are very loving spirits. And they can help you, and they understand the laws regarding repentance. Does that make sense? The, that God has made these laws regarding repentance, and they understand them. And they can help you understand them, and help you actually begin doing the, going through the process of repentance. They want to also help you no longer be around the earth, but actually go to the place in the spirit world that is a reflection of the condition. But they want to help you work your way through the emotions that you need to work your way through. They want to describe to you the, what can be done. Does that make sense? Yes. So love is such a foreign concept. concept. You, yeah, yeah, you've not experienced any love for thousands of years. Yeah. So what we'll do is we'll ask them to come for a moment. And they're quite bright and they look very pure. And that's going to make you feel bad maybe for a little bit. So the key is just to allow yourself to cry and feel bad about how you feel in comparison to them. <laughs> we did not look like that. No. <laughs> this is what love does. That's what love does. Yeah. 
That's what God's love does. Does that make sense? That's what God's love does. God's love does this. This transformation of the person. Now, these spirits can speak with you <coughs> about the kinds of emotions you're going to need to work your way through. And they'll be able to show you how to do it, but it's going to be based on your desires. In other words, if you don't want to do it, then they'll stop helping you. And if you want to do it, they'll help you again. So it just depends on how you exercise your desire as to how much they will give you help. Does that make sense to you? Yes. Yeah. So they're not going to help you if you are angry with them or that you don't want to deal with the emotions that you have. They're only going to be able to help you if you want to deal with the emotions that you have. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yes. So I don't feel we need to talk more about that because they'll be able to explain a lot more if you can trust them. But I, one thing I do feel we need to talk a lot more about is your fear of these darker women's spirits. Okay. okay. The reason why you've done a lot of the things you've done over the last 4,000 years is because you have been afraid of these evil women. Yes. Isn't that true? Very. Yeah. And what happened on earth for you to be so afraid of women? We were treated terribly. By our mothers. What kind of things did your mothers do? <laughs> Beaten and locked in cupboards and not fed mm -hmm. <laughs> and hated <laughs> so much. So many of you were tortured to death by your mother. <laughs> yeah. A mother is supposed to love. Is she not? Well, everyone's supposed to love, not just a mother. Um, but yes, you're right, a mother is supposed to love. But unfortunately, a lot of mothers don't. Because they have feelings of competition and rage towards their children. And so they don't love their children. We were despised. Yeah. Hated and resented. Yes. And your mothers, many of them, felt a malicious joy in torturing you. Yes. Yeah. Like it was enjoyment for them. Yeah. Some of us were beaten so often that our bodies were so little they just could not take it anymore. And just died as a result of the injuries. Yes. Yeah. Many of us did not live to see teenage years. Yeah. And many of these mothers also sexually harmed you as well. Yes. Mm. Allowed our fathers to rape us. Yeah. And would often rape us with objects themselves. Yeah. And these are the emotions that you need to feel about. This is what's caused you to be so afraid of evil women. Can you see that? Yes. Yeah. It didn't matter how much we tried to do the right thing. Yeah. It was never enough. Yeah. And the rage would not stop. Yeah. The rage didn't stop until you died. Yes. Yeah. And it has still continued. That's right, because, because unfortunately you were so afraid of angry women that you then attracted a group of evil women who did the same thing to you in the spirit world, yes? Yes. And the only way you could ever get their approval is by doing what they wanted you to do. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So the emotions that you need to feel that are about what happened when you were little, when you were children on earth, does that make sense? Are the emotions that you need to allow yourself to go through. It's with you about to help you go through those emotions. <coughs> Many of them have had to do similar things. Does it make sense to you? Were treated like us? Yeah, they were treated like you when they were little. And some of them even died from their injuries like you did. And so they, they know how to get out of that condition of rage and anger and also fear of evil women. 
and into a place where they you can see them now they're in a place of love aren't they yes yeah. they have a warmth about them yeah it feels nice to be with them doesn't it yeah <laughs> and they can help you do that now now one of the first emotions you'll need to deal with is this fear you have of these evil women right? how do we do this well the celestial spirits will help you through that because what that will do is it will help you no longer be afraid of those kind of women. Does that make sense to you? And when you're no longer afraid of them, there's nothing more they can do to harm you. Ever. Ever. Yeah. Does it look like those women can harm? See, that the women are with you now, right? Yes. They have been watching and they are most displeased. Yeah. But can they... you see that those women are not harming the celestial spirits? Yes. Can you see that? They're almost afraid. They're almost afraid of them, yes. And it's because the celestial spirits don't have any fear of them. It's the fear that opens you up to the further harm. Do you understand? Yes. Yeah. So our celestial spirit friends will help you. And as long as you want them to be with you, they'll help you deal with this. But you've got to want them to be with you. We want them to stay. Yeah, but they're, they're only going to stay if you're willing to deal with the emotions, that's all. You, you might want them to stay, but if you're unwilling to deal with the emotions, then they'll have to leave again until you're willing. Do you understand? Yes. Yeah. We do not want to hurt anymore. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> do you feel like you're ready to talk with them? Yes. Yeah, let, let's go. Let, I'll let you go now and you can have a talk with them. Thank you. It's my pleasure.